Alana Brophy. Let's head back over for another check of that forecast. A calm night out there tonight, Alana. Well, isn't it nice out yes, there? You have to go is. out and go, okay, temperatures aren't bad. We don't even have much in the way of wind. We're starting right here at the ABC4 Studios, our Colonial Flag that Tower really blows. camera. Yeah, it does, Glenn. You're <laughs> well, usually the wind does, but not today. 82 right now in Salt Lake City. Air quality out there is moderate, so we do see some elevated particulate matter. Now, not a surprise. It's been firework nights, and they're still legal tonight. Weber and Box Elder County actually have elevated particulate matter. Ozone holding on in other portions of northern Utah. That includes Utah County. Tooele is elevated PMs. Clearer on the eastern side of the state. As you head down south, you do see moderate air holding on in Washington County ozone, but that's going to go away. Great view from the upper Wasatch. Thank you, Michael Bowman, for sharing this. Yeah, you still see the snow, like Mary, Lake Catherine, the greenery, the skies. I just love where we live. It's hard not to. Great shot there. And we always love when you share your photos. Weather at ABC4.com. 91 is where we topped out today. Very close to where we should be this time of year in the low 90s, 80s. Along the rest of the Wasatch Front, we made it to triple digits in Green River. 102 in St. George with triple digit fever holding steady as we head into tonight. We are going to see increasing cloud cover along the Wasatch Front. Mid-70s once we close the newscast with partly cloudy skies, but for the overnight, mostly cloudy conditions will sneak in. By 4 a.m., upper 60s expected if you're an early riser, and then by 9 a.m., mid-70s with partly cloudy conditions right around the corner. Radar shows us pretty quiet conditions, but we keep our eye on the Uinta Basin and over in the West Desert, where we have seen some echoes of moisture. Getting a little closer to Uinta County right there on the state line with Colorado, we do have some light and some echoes of moisture in Duchesne County. Isolated activity, showers and storms out there, and it's because of the movement of a warm front. So this front actually brought us showers the last couple of days, but now it's rebounding, retracting, heading north yet again. And as a result, we get increasing cloud cover, and this is where we're going to focus our energy. Slight potential for the Ogden Valley at 7 a.m. to see a shower heads up there, and we're going to watch as that front heads further north and drapes itself right near the state line of Idaho and Utah. Now, notice we do see northern Utah tapping into isolated potential by the afternoon and evening for tomorrow. So northwestern Utah Park Valley towards Cache Valley. We're going to keep an eye on those areas because you can't rule out the chance of some active skies. The rest of the state, central, eastern, and southern Utah, pretty pleasant. Sunshine, breezy at times. We'll see those clouds holding on for northern Utah as we head into our Friday, but overall, mostly dry. The storm threat, it's a general one for the Wasatch Front, you into Basin and the West Desert. Can't rule it out. We also know that elevated fire risk is going to hold on for the four corners and so does the red flag warning. So something to be aware of. As we step back and look at the big picture, show you where we're getting all this energy, there's an area of low pressure from the Pacific Northwest sending a few disturbances our way. Eventually, that will deteriorate and as we head into the weekend and early next week, high pressure really takes control, not just over Utah, but throughout the West. That means our temperatures are going to be on the up and up triple digit territory yet again as we head towards the end of the weekend and into next week. Temperatures for our mountains and Wasatch back. We're going to see the 80s for tomorrow. Overnight lows in the 60s for the Wasatch front. Low 90s in places like Ogden, upper 80s in Tooele. Central Utah has plenty of sunshine. Those clouds stay up north and we'll see the 90s popping up for places like Fillmore and Richfield. Sunshine down the south. Take your pick. Triple digits near Powell in St. George and 90 over in Blanding. If you like the 80s, you're going to have to go to Torrey or into Beaver County, but they're there. You just got to go a little ways. There's the St. George 7 day where you see the potential for those triple digits for the next seven days. Breezy conditions will also hold on. When that high pressure takes over, the temperatures climb 107, 108 towards the end of the seven day there. Wasatch Front has cloud cover for the next two days. Temperatures in the 90s. And then we start to climb. We could see another triple digit day. It would be our second of the year on Tuesday. Monday, you know how much I don't like a 99, folks. Mm -mm. Well, there's potential. To but you see left it there for us. No, <laughs> just for you, Glenn. I know it makes a it happens. <laughs> I know. That 100 is happening. Babe, we've got to we've got to commit when we do. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Alana. No problem. <laughs> Time now for a look at sports with our Dana Green. A lot of fans looking forward to the next RSL game. Who's ready for Chicho? Woo! Chicho! It's Chicho time. Yeah, Chicho Arango <laughs> set to make his RSL debut this weekend. Plus, we'll check out the.